What is this? I'm speechless. It doesn't happen that often. That is gorgeous. and welcome back to my channel. So this is part two of our Vista Village shooting spree. <laughs> so um, in part one we were already quite successful so we definitely got something to unbox. Maybe there's gonna be more. <laughs> um, I would say let's go to all the other shops today. Versace and Balenciaga and YSL everything. <laughs> let's just get into it and yeah I hope you enjoy it. Prada. Should we head into Prada quickly and see what they got? The window display. Very chic. Never like the biggest fan of Prada bags, um, but they got good finds in the outlet as well. This is full leather Prada bag. You are? Oh my god, what are these furry friends? I don't know if it's real fur, artificial fur. Feels actually quite artificial. These monsters, it's literally fa furry monsters. I don't know why this kind of style always reminds me of Hagrid's jacket in Harry Potter. It feels nice, you could use it as a cushion. Ooh, even a classic Prada bag. Nice. Imagine this in black. That would be quite cool. Hi. Fun little pink Prada bag. The leather is very nice and feels quite luxurious. This is quite nice as well. Very classic, right? And then I think, guys, they have it here as well. It's a backpack, bucket bag version. I like those. The color is just very soothing. Love this one too. Very stylish. Oh, flowery bag. So they have Mio Mio um, at Prada as well, guys. Oh, lots of little perks. Nice. Quick look um, what they have uh, at Vivian Westwood for Jacob. Because he would probably love to see what they have. God, my Slytherin heart is melting. <laughs> I love this. It has little hearts on it. What would I use it for though? It's a little bit big, right? And they got the back as well. <gasps> how cute, how cute. Special price, should we check out how much it is? God, the, the snack has actually like little pearls as eyes. Gorgeous. Cute little tiny bag. Um, mini bags are all in, but I also really like this one. Hmm. I've seen this one last time already. And this is out of this world, isn't it? Let's go to Bottega Veneta next. God, I like these. I love everything with little feathers on it. Oh, cute. Very sophisticated. I love this. And let me show you another version of this bag. What do we think about this furry friend? <laughs> this is, I don't know if it's a towel or a bag. Both mixed. <laughs> has got little crystals on there. I mean, I've never seen, I don't even know the name. If anybody knows the name of this bag, let me know. But I think it's fabulous. This one looks like a cool construction as well. I don't even know how to open it. But first, let's look at it. Hello, very understated, but still designer. And let's be honest, like Bottega Veneta has the best leathers. Like they are so luxurious. So you open this clasp there and let's look at the price. One one down from one seven. Like these bags only came out recently and they're already in the outlet. <laughs> Maybe they were not the best uh, best selling pieces. This is more crock. Um, what a pop of color though, right? Flat toes. I've never seen them That's before. Crazy. No worries. <laughs> but yeah, you see of course from afar that this is Bottega Veneta. Got some pouches. I mean, this is not the classic pouch, obviously. But, oh, the leather, guys. I mean, I have two um, Bottega Veneta pouches, the chain pouch and the regular one. And the leather is the best. Oh, you just want to cuddle it. You know, you just want to cuddle it and use it as a cushion. What do we think about the color? I love it. I love, love, love it. Look at how much this one is. Okay, 700 pound you're basically saving. Um, it's a practical pouch version because you can actually swing it over your um, shoulders. Uh, quite snug. <laughs> Nonetheless, you could do this, you know, if you need to be hands-free. But other than that, I think I would just carry it like this. I love it. Or like this. Look at these um, hard shell clutches. And we have a classic Bottega camera bag. Again, guys, I wish I could make you feel this. Bottega jewelry. I love, of course, these 
sunshines and the pink ones. I didn't know they made the pouches in like tiny, tiny baby versions. <gasps> Look at this. You can use that as a coin pouch, I guess. <laughs> But uh, I've never seen them. Max Mara, guys. I always wanted to have a teddy bear coat from Max Mara. Mm, I just don't know what I want to go for, like something like this, a brown, or rather like a baby pink, or maybe white or beige. This one is like eight sizes too big. <laughs> uh, it's a size 16. I'm usually a size eight. Um, but you know, it gives you the idea. Do we like a teddy bear coat? Guys, I'm feeling the first raindrops. Mm. Let's go to Versace next. Wow, okay, look at the color of this backpack. <laughs> you know, can you can you find any brighter colored bags? And look, they have it in um, this little shoulder bag and bucket version as well. That is quite cool. It is very colorful. I'm... <sighs> I like that for sure. I think I told you guys before I never owned a Versace bag, so I'm not 100% sure like how well or not well they wear over time. This is real Python, I can feel it. Um, so, you know, I don't know. Would I ever get a Versace bag? If they bring out one that totally like swoops me off my feet, yes. <laughs> but I don't know about the quality because, you know, all of this is it's plastic, you know, at least it can't ship then. <laughs> um, it is so light, you barely feel this chain at all. Classic Versace pieces. I would definitely wear their ready to wear, for sure. Um, maybe I'm more into Versace clothes rather than their bags. Versace wicker bag in blue. Ooh, what is this? It's like iridescent. Cool, cool, cool. Hmm, seen this one last time already when I filmed here with Steph. Um, the leather again feels very nice and soft. But do I like it? I don't know. Got a nice golden chain. Balenciaga for my Balenciaga fans out there. Never up until this day considered a Balenciaga bag. <laughs> up until now. What? What is this? I'm speechless. It doesn't happen that often. That is gorgeous. This clutch. Oh my god, we need a we need some close-up shots in a second. Oh, got the bag there. It's difficult. Oh, I love it. What is this? You can hold it like a little baby. Oh, 450 pound only. Valencia, I've never seen this. This is such an intricate piece. I love it. Okay. Oh, it's actually a zipper. Okay, let me open this. I never thought I might need a Balenciaga bag up until today. <laughs> what can you fit in here? I mean, it's very long, but it's so gorgeous. I mean, this is like Barbie's dream, right? Would I need this? No. I can't buy another bag today, right? Okay, I'm speechless. I'm totally in shock. <laughs> I cannot like this one, can I? Oh, like Caleb, Caleb Snell, if you don't know his channel, please go and check him out. He's a big Balenciaga fan. <laughs> Do I need this bag, Caleb? <laughs> I don't know why, I just thought I need your opinion. <laughs> I mean, uh, how, how's the quality of Balenciaga bags usually? So what I've just noticed is like there's these glue residues. Is that normal for Balenciaga? But like, this is so special. <laughs> hey, let's think about this. I mean, imagine how beautiful this would go with my engagement ring. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, let's move on. <laughs> let's see what other, let's let's hide her. Let's hide her for a second. Let's see what other stuff they have here. It's like a shadow print, like a shadow Birkin. Reminds me, honestly, of a shadow Birkin. Let's try that on in a second as well, because it's cool. <sighs> okay, I always thought I never find a Balenciaga bag that I like, no. I don't. I won't. Yeah, it's quite cool. Right? It does remind us of a shadow Birkin, doesn't it? Um, this is like a shadow Balenciaga bag. A white hourglass bag. It's very white. Um, and here we have a Balenciaga Alma version, right? The baby, the mother. And... Ay, 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 ay. What do we do about the pink bag? No, no, no. Let's try and walk away. 
I don't need it, do I? I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need this Barbie bag, right? I love it because it's so fugly. It's so fabulously ugly. <laughs> so first of all, Gucci. Let's see what's in the window display and then let's go in. So I think these bags are specifically made for the outlet. I'm not 100% sure. I think so. And where's the interesting stuff? There we have a nice little Gucci toad. Nice little bag. Wow, guys. The Gucci Raja Toad in brown suede. I actually always wanted to have this. This exact bag. Uh, when it first came out, I actually see a lot of people in London carrying this. Let me try and focus. Can we see the crystal embellished tiger head there? Uh, other toads, other little outlets. Ooh, sparkles, sparkles. But yeah, let's try this one on. Another nice little summer bag. Um, with the classic Gucci Horsebit logo sign. Oh, more crystal shoes. Okay, I would say let's go in. So just coming in, a look at all of these gorgeous bags. It's, I think this was the garden collection, wasn't it? And this is a beautiful Sylvie bag. Let's try them on later as well. And nice. And guys, I really like this necklace as well. Okay, are we ready for Gucci? So I just came in and this one immediately caught my eye. This is quite a nice little bag, isn't it? I love how summer it is. I think I've actually never seen this one in the boutique. But I don't think this was made for the outlet. It's really, really nice. I think they got the Dionysus bag in this as well. I'll show you in a second what they have. So just a quick little overview what they have. I love this one as well. Mm little Gucci cherry bags. Oh guys, they have the Mickey Mouse. Oh, how cute is that? That's Jeffree Star's bag. I think they're like 3,000, 4,000 pounds. And this one's quite cute as well. Look at this. So I really... Oh, this is what I mean. This is the Dionysus bag. And they have so many nice clothes. Maybe I should try this pattern on. I really like this pattern. Let's see how much. So it's 2,200 still. I think that's a normal price for Dionysus, to be honest. I don't think that's like a discount bag. These shoes, just in this amazing pattern as well, Gucci. They are only 210 pounds, from 600 down to 200. They have it in like a lighter version as well. And the lighter version, same price. 200 pounds for Gucci shoes, guys. God, I just found my dream dress. <gasps> what is this? Can you see this beautiful rainbow skirt? Oh, I think I want to try this on, honestly. Oh, okay. Still 4,000 pounds from 13,000. This amazing dress. Can we see the details? <gasps> you won't believe it. This is down from, let me see, from 5,300 to 530 pounds. I'm just about to try on the beautiful dresses we just spotted. And she brought me two pairs of shoes because I said like I need a high heel obviously to try those dresses on. So let's see these ones. Like my size is 38. Oh, it doesn't say the price. It doesn't say the price here maybe. Oh, 280 pound for such a classic looking sleek pair of Gucci shoes. That's amazing. And then we have these sequins dreams. <laughs> I don't know, like I'm not the biggest fan of sequins, but it's very Gucci, right? And this one is, there's no price, the Gucci dream. <laughs> So this is actually a size 36 guys and I fit into the Gucci size 36. <laughs> I would have not thought so because obviously Italian sizes are usually you know pretty small. Um, so wow, if I was ever invited <laughs> to a Gucci fashion show, this is how I would walk in there. Obviously very Gucci, is it worth 5,000 pounds? But I love it because it's so rainbowy. Hello, I feel like a mermaid, you know, with her little Wow, okay. What is this? I look at this. That is gorgeous. <clears throat> Very like, oh, just coming from Rome. Oh, I love this one. Hello. Let's see. Do we like it? Is it too much? I mean, it's a bit over the top, right? Hmm. Hi. These shoes, guys, it's like Gucci Ugg boots. 325. I'm in black as well, black leather. Oh, even cheaper. Love these glittery shoes. How much are they? 
400. Yeah, okay guys, so a really nice little Sylvie bag. Oh, I mean, I really like the old leather. I would, ugh, can't speak anymore. I haven't had my coffee yet. The old leather versions, but this one is quite nice as well. What do we think? Always let me know. They have it in green as well. Look at these guys. Wow, that is so my color. And the best thing is you can find real treasures here. From 1,200, 90% off to 120 pounds. This is really nice. I love the flowers. This is so me. This is in the men's section, guys. I really don't know why. This is a nice little travel bag. Everyday bag. It's a laptop. I really like it. It's gorgeous. What does it say? Gucci souvenir. <laughs> okay, that's actually quite cute. It's like a little surprise. Very sophisticated and fancy from the front. And then you got a little comic book character there on the back. This is the nicest thing I've seen so far. Really tempted. This one is the last one as well that they have. And it has a shoulder strap. I mean, it's a bit weird that it's attached at the back because if you fill it up, it would hang over. But I just, oh, I'm such a sucker for flowers. So that one was 1.7 down from 2.9. Look at this one with little flowers as well. Mm, I just love everything with flowers. The bee bag. Always love the good she bee. Here we can see the price as well. 1.3 down from 1.9. Do we like it? It's a bit childish, right? Cute, however. I really like Dionysus bags. I wish they would make more of them with gold hardware, like 90% of them have silver hardware. Little character code again, Doremon, Doremi, something like that. They have a lot of stuff with them. And here she is, guys. This is still the nicest bag, right? And the most practical, most useful one. Oh my god, I can't believe how much good footage we got today. <laughs> I love this. Let's check the price, because I really like the flower tote as well, but I mean, it's quite chunky. <laughs> This one is perfect. Lies on your body very flat. Also fits a laptop. Hmm. Just checking this one. Can you see there's a tiny little crystal missing? That is the issue, guys. Let's see if we find one that's perfect. But the suede is so beautiful. Okay, guys, they're just checking if they have another one. The issue is the other one, the suede looks horrible guys, so I would not consider that one. They have none other than those two, and this one actually has two crystals missing. There and there. I mean, it's nothing you couldn't fix. I don't know, he's just asking if Gucci can fix it, or if they only fix boutique pieces, or, you know, because this is an outlet one now. Um, I could obviously fix that myself, right? I just met the loveliest woman, had a little chat about bags, and they actually got the specialist in today who fixes bags. And they might have the crystal, might be able to fix it. That would be lucky. Waiting, guys, let's have another look. What's on display? Lots of mamon bags. And look at this one. I just convinced another woman to get the other um, Raja sweet tort. <laughs> she saw it on me, she loved it, and now she's getting it too. More bags, guys. And I just spotted they actually have the Gucci's answer to the Alma bag as well. It's a timeless piece you can't go wrong with. Oh, they even have it in black as well. They even have the classic camera bags. This guy, is, they even have the Raja clutch here. It's definitely a statement piece. Oh, and look at these earrings, guys. How heavy they must be, right? Because they are gigantic. Like, this is my hand. But gorgeous. And then we have little brooches. Some more jewelry eye candy. I like these. This one's quite cool and interesting as well. And lots of bling bling, guys. And guys, I thought, let's try on some sunglasses. I've once seen these, this exact pair on Trisha Paytas. I always really liked it, and now they have it here. Wow, they're down to 175 from 490. But do I want to queue up again now? Hello. These might be perfect for carnival season. And they are 300 down from 900. Lots of bling. Let's go. Okay, guys, so big shout out to the... That's me. Do we have that on camera? My bag just beeped. <laughs> so there was another like hidden tag because actually the bag comes with a clochette. So I have to show you that with another pochette. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I will show you. That was very successful already at Gucci. Um, yeah, I would say let's uh, keep walking. So what I wanted to say, big shout out to the Gucci team here in Vista Village. The nicest people. They fixed the bags. They were so nice. They kept me updated every 10 minutes. They were apologizing that I had to wait and it, I mean, I was just happy, you know, that they 
were able to fix it. Nonetheless, nicest people, loveliest people. This experience was good. And to be honest, guys, I think because I currently find all the Gucci pieces quite boring, it's more exciting to actually go shopping in an outlet, in a Gucci outlet, because you have the old Alessandro Michele pieces. Big thumbs up. Yeah, okay, so this was part two and yeah, it is raining. How wonderful. <laughs> so I don't know if we're gonna have part three, maybe, because I feel like we got a lot of nice footage. Um, yeah, if you enjoyed part two, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, join our little handbag obsessed family here. Guys, it's really important that you subscribe so that I can, you know, keep making these videos. And yeah, I see you again very, very soon. Also guys, let me know your thoughts about the Balenciaga bag, the pink Barbie bag. Do we need it? No, right, we don't.